Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn, and today... She's driving. I, we are having stacked sushi. But let me tell you the story behind the stacked sushi. Sushi often means the fish, though. So, right. And it's but, a nori roll. But, I, but I'm giving you the name, and you'll understand why in just a second, and then we can rename it. <clears throat> we have these fabulous neighbors. And they happen to have six children plus chickens. And once they were out of town and asked me to take care of their chickens, and I left my bucket that I put water in. So one day, <clears throat> a few days after I had finished taking care of the chickens, uh, five of the six children arrived at our doorstep. And they were st sitting there. They are aged two five, seven, nine, and 11. And so we just were chatting a little. They returned the bucket. And then uh, I said, so what did you all have for dinner? And they told me. And then I said, well, what's your favorite meal? The two-year-old had nothing to say. The five-year-old <laughs> said pizza. And the three other kids all agreed their favorite meal was stacked sushi. And I said, What's that? So these children, aged seven, nine, and 11, told me explicitly <laughs> what stat sushi was. And that night, I went home because I happened to have a short grain brown rice. I made stat sushi. And since then, I made it for Jane. She made it for everybody all over. I made it for our son, Rip, who came to visit. And I made it for our uh, neighbor, Brian's, our, our son-in-law's mother, the other day when she came to visit. And now I am making it again. So this is what I was told by these three wonderful neighbors. I am going to start with a cup. And in that cup, I am going to put mango. Oh, let me tell you something I did learn. This, this is one little cool thing. I talked with the children's mother because I sometimes have trouble getting it all to come out clearly. So we thought that maybe starting in the bottom of my dish with a cucumber slice. Let's show, let's show. So one slice of cucumber might help. Helps to we'll release, because it's gonna be released from this cup at, at the end. We'll see. So and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make one also, okay, mommy? Well, you could, but you could. Okay, I'll wait till you're done yeah. with yours. <laughs> No, no, no. That would be interesting. That's good. Go ahead. That's good because, because I was told by my neighboring children that, you know, this, this mango is really important here. Then I'm going to put a little bit of red pepper. Oh, you know what I forgot? Jane, I forgot the green... The, Scallions? Green onions? No. The red cabbage. Do you have just a little? We could just... I saw one in your refrigerator. I do. I thought I'd done it, but I must have left it at home. And this is just um, chopped up just cucumber. Shred, shreds of it. And I use these mini cucumbers because I like them a lot because there aren't a lot of seeds in it. or uh, So it was just nice to do that. And then I am going to put in just a little bit oh, of... Oh, gosh. <laughs> I was going to do it properly. Okay. You don't need much. But, you know, the more color... The more color you can eat, the better. So just a little bit of this. I mean, it's so pretty. So pretty. And then, whoop, <laughs> and then I am going to put in rice. And this is short grain brown rice. And because it, what's nice about this short grain brown rice is it's kind of sticky. It's naturally oh, sticky. You know what I forgot? The most important part. This is what the kids this told she, me most importantly. I just got so she excited. She's only made it a few times. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I, I made it, it nonstop. Four times, four times. You've got to put in man, uh, avocado. And they told me that it's really important because this helps hold it all together. Oh, it's like a gluish. So, or, yeah, gluey. So, you, Jane, you need to start going. Oh, I, I was going to wait till you did so, the whole So, I'm in putting in that, that nice avocado. And then I'm going to put back in my rice. And I have, unfortunately, now, 
and they told me to be sure that you press down and stack, you know, you press down this rice into the cup. Now, the problem ends up being <laughs> getting this out nicely, but I have, I have discovered that a little, little um. just going around the side helps. I have a cup and a half size one. Was that too big? Too big. Now, I, I took on purpose, I brought this metal plate because I like to be able to pound that down. And let's hope that this comes out well. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, that's sort of beautiful. Well, I it like is, it with the cucumber totally on top. It's totally beautiful, but the cucumber on top helps a little bit. With and you can just recreate. Now, we're going to make another one because I have another neighbor who happened to have seen one of these, and he, he wanted to have the recipe. So I gave him the recipe. And then he had a suggestion, which I would like to show everybody. Okay, I put cabbage on top of mine, and then red pepper. And then mango. And he then suggested cucumber. a number four um, coffee, filter? coffee maker. And so I tried it. It kind of works. So I'm going to put in the mango. Not even not putting the, the cucumber. I'm going to put in the mango. And then I'm going to put in the red pepper. And then the cucumber. And then the little purple cabbage. <laughs> then I'm going to remember, you have your mango, I'm going to put in mango, I mean avocado, and then I'm going to put in my rice. So I've just got mine pressed in, and um, I want to put down, I'm going to do a little, I, I like this look, but I want, I love the taste of nori, so I'm going to take half of a sheet of nori, and I'm going to crumple it up because I want to have this be like beneath there, we're giving me the flavor of the nori. So I'm going to have the crumbs on my plate because I've had this before and I miss the taste of the nori itself. Ah! Oh. You know what? <laughs> I like mine better. Okay. But Ricky Taft had a really good idea with that. Okay. However, now wait, Jane. You, I, I, have, but, I well, wait. I love that your idea, but I wanted to show everybody my idea because also what I like to do oh, that's a, that's a, is I, on top is to put this is purple dulce. Or these are seaweed flakes by too. Burlap and barrel seaweed flakes. Oh, those are those look great. So then you could just do this. Lots of companies make the little flakes. Oh, that's top. gorgeous. Sesame yeah. seeds, toasted sesame seeds. And there's another one I'm almost out, Daybreak Seaweed Flakes by these women. And this, again, you could add just, the, they're, they're the same thing. But that gives you that. And then, then. I'm just putting a few sesame seeds. When you eat this, now this one with the thing, but, but it really does work just with a cup with the little sides. Now, I have not, I have only done this three or four times. And four each hundred. time, Jane. <laughs> but it's so much fun. It looks so pretty. And kids love it. People can really well, put I love in what the they build want. Your, I love the build your own yeah. aspect. So kids can put in, I mean, a kid could have just rice and they'd feel cool <laughs> just turn the rice over. So I, and then, yeah, and then I, you serve it uh, with tamari. Can I try to flip mine? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go. And onto this? Okay. Oh, you did yours well. So then, um, you know what? Maybe not having mango first is a good thing because that came out better than mine. And I'm putting a little bit of wasabi, and this wasabi is um, hot. Hot, so it isn't like you want a whole big layer of it. But um, And then I also want to have... Some pickled ginger on mine because I love pickled oh, yes. ginger. Oh, yes. I forgot. And pickled ginger. Um, oh, my God. I've never had a piece. When I first had pickled ginger, I thought it was ham. They put ham on my platter, and I was like, oh, I'm a vegetarian. I can't believe they put ham on it. So I'm going to put pickled ginger around mine. So I, what I've done is I cut up my pickled ginger because I found that I liked 
little tiny pieces. So I've cut these up and put them around. And, and when you eat it, I mean, the sad thing is when you go in to eat it, <laughs> it gets messed it up. It gets messed up. But we found that it looks like you're getting not, not a very big amount, but there's quite a lot there. Yeah. And one or even two per person, if, if, if there's nothing else in the meal, Here. gives it a really nice meal. This is so pretty. Look at all this. Look at this all is this. my new favorite thing. And I have so Sushi many Sushi stacks. Sushi stacks to Ellie, Lydia, and Clara because they Ruben were the ones that told Nate. us me how to do it. And I'm sure Grace makes this too. The oh, whole squad does. Well, they all do, but I didn't, Grace, the oldest, who is 14, was So then do we there. attack it with a fork? Is that right? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna dig in. Woo. Yours looks good, and I am now thinking to start not with mango is the trick, because like it might come out better. Here's a fork, let's give it a go. You Ready know, taste it? I yeah. hate to wreck it. Oh, I know. I hear you. I hear you. But I'm going to put a little kiss of tamari in mine, too. I like, you know what? This is the thing that's amazing about this, is that I don't like any drizzle. tamari on it. None. Because the taste in here, you taste every taste so clearly. It's wonderful. Pickled ginger, wasabi, mango. Oh, this is, oh, it does, it does, it sadly does fall apart, but it's so pretty. Mmm. Mmm. You don't need anything. You taste everything. Oh, really amazing. It is so fun to make oh. it. It's so much easier than having to roll them all. Oh. Mmm. All right. We're clearly going to keep. <laughs> oh. We're going to keep eating these. But tell us what you make on your. No. I want to know not what you make. What you put on. How you get it out best. Yeah, what you put because, on top. Jane, you're right. You could put anything in here. Our neighbor who tried it said he used put Brussels sprout. I mean, uh, I like what we have, but mm -hmm. you could do anything. It is, and I love that everyone can make their own. All right, well, enjoy your uh, sushi stacks with, with or without crumbled nori or sprinkled uh, seaweed. Let us know how you do it. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.